Thank you, Deb. And let's be honest, the sun is shining, it is nearly 2.30, and the only thing between you and your weekend is me. <laughs> so my husband's a teacher, and I said, so I got like 400 kids on Friday afternoon, the very last thing. What can I say to them that they'll be interested in? And he just laughed and said, good luck with that. <laughs> so let me first say, um, I am a guest here at OES today, and I feel so, so pleased that I got to come and spend the day with you. This is my first day at your Culture Shock event. I want to speak a little bit about being engaged. When I met with uh, Dory and several of the students that were involved in planning this, they said one of our overall themes is we want to talk about what does it mean to be engaged, engaged in our schools, engaged in our community, engaged in the, school, in the world at large. And <clears throat> Intizar kicked us off this morning with some good ideas, and I took a lot of notes from her. She is such a radiant, open person. Uh, this is the second time I've heard her speak. And she said to her, getting engaged is getting out of our comfort zone. And I hope in some of your workshops or in your home groups that there were some conversations or some ideas that pushed you to your edge. That she suggested that it, being engaged was to step out as ourselves. Because sometimes having the bravery to be honest about who we really are is like the bravest thing we'll do all day. And third, I loved that she said, Engage with what you have. And what she said she has is she has a body, and she has hands, and she has her camera. And that's how she's engaging in the world. And that gave me the freedom, as I was thinking about my own anxiety about being up here today and closing out this event, of there was this little self-critic in my mind that said, Lori, you're the closing speaker. You gotta send them out with a bang. You gotta have this like big energy and get them all up. And do you think you can get them to dance? And is it possible to get them to hold hands? And like, how do you do all that? That, you guys, is not glory. Okay? That would not be engaging with who I am. So what I'm gonna bring you today is I've got a really big heart. And so I'm gonna speak directly from that. And if I even get a little verklempt and teary-eyed, you don't need to worry about me. They're not sad tears, they're really super grateful tears for how amazed and touched I've been by the students and the people in this audience, okay? So that's what I'm gonna bring, that's what I'm gonna engage with. And I'd love for you to really think about what that word means to you and how you're gonna engage in the world. That's where engagement comes in. There's a difference between thinking something and doing something. There's a gap in between. You've been encouraged to write down your ideas on a card because when you put it on a card, it becomes more real. Now, if you put it on that card and you tell somebody else about it and you say, can I tell you what I hope to do? Will you hold me accountable? Then the idea that you'll actually will do it, boom, goes up. Okay? That you put a timeline on that. If you said, I want to write a senator, I want to participate in a march, I'm committed to reaching out to three students at this school that are different from me. I'm going to um, invite somebody once a month to have lunch with me or go walk around the conference. Right? You make it a SMART goal. Specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and time-bound. You're committed to the process. Three, you have courage. Everybody knows it's important to be brave. Everybody wants to be courageous. It's a noble character trait, right? Here's the thing. I might be 43. I want to be Katniss as much as the next person. <laughs> there is an image of a leader, right, that often has a powerful tool of some, time in their, some kind in their hands. Maybe it's a sword. Maybe it's a bow and arrow. You look at our superheroes. You know what, when you go in like this, you're opening yourself up to a lot of risk. And will you get hurt? Yes, you will. So you gotta make sure you have good people around you to help pick you up. Will you get tired? Yes, you will. Because resistance and change and revolution are really hard work. The other bit about commitment is the road is long, 
You have to decide what you can commit to and what's tiring and when you need to lay that burden down. The Women's March, most of my friends, my parents, a lot of my colleagues were all there. I'm a social worker, right up my alley. I couldn't understand why I just wasn't that motivated to go. I actually felt a lot of guilt about why I wasn't there. I've got a daughter. I was going to explain to her why I wasn't there. And all I can tell you is, it was not my time. I'm engaged in social justice. I'm engaged in making a difference. I care a lot. But that just wasn't my time. And I'm going to find other moments and other ways to be a part of something bigger than me.